Hello, welcome to Bacon Time with Tank Man. We go on bake. I'm not gonna show you the recipe. Uh, it's my birthday and birthdays mean cake. And I haven't baked a cake in a long time. And my grandmother used to bake this one pound cake that I would kill anyone watching this video for. That's not true. But it's really, really good. And I like to try to bake them. I still haven't pulled it off ever since she has passed and passed her cake baking powers on to me. I've not yet learned to harness them. But we gonna get started here and try to put all this stuff in the mixing bowl. Got my wife's KitchenAid here. I am my wife's KitchenAid sometimes. But this is the KitchenAid. We gonna crack some eggs into this bowl first off. One thing that my grandma always used to do, uh, I put it in the wrong place, I put the butter in the wrong place, that's why I was lost on this. Um, my grandmother used to do this thing where if an egg had some of that white stuff on it, I don't know if that's, uh, you know, rooster gametes or whatever it is on the edge of the egg, but she would always take them off. So I'm going to try to do that here today. But I'm very much struggling with this. Alright, we may just have that stuff in our cake. That's fine. She always used to say it makes hard spots in the cake. I don't know if she was right about that. I can remember though that as a young boy I would always go over to her house uh, during the summer times and whatnot. And I, can, I feel like almost every day I was there we were baking a cake. Oh, I got a little bit of some out here. Yeah, so there's some. There's some we're gonna take out of there with us. You know what I say about reproductive fluids in my food? As little as possible. I love as little of that as possible in the food that I eat, but can't always be avoided. Whether it's at your local McDonald's or a cake that you bake, you can't always avoid it. We've avoided some, and I'll take that. Um, but I can all, I can always remember going over to her house and baking a cake, and there was a stool that I would stand upon. She would always refer to me as Martha Stewart. That was before she went to jail. Martha Insider trading. Stewart. Martha what? Stewart. Martha Stewart. That's cute. That's funny. All right, we've got all of our eggs in there. Um, I'm actually going to probably whisk those eggs up by themselves. This little bad boy. This is what we call a whisk, for those of you that don't know. We're just going to whisk these eggs up. I guess I can show that to you. You know, we're gonna whisk. We're whisking. We're whisking. You saw me put six eggs in there. The rest of the measurements ingredient and ingredients I may not reveal to you. I may not reveal to you the rest of the ingredients because I don't want you to steal my grandmother's famous pound cake. Otherwise I'm gonna have to pound you in a violent way. Yeah, a violent way. In a way that you won't want to tell all of your friends about. Uh, okay, now we're gonna put some more stuff in there. Next, I think we're gonna go with the ma drink. No, I think we're gonna go with the sugar next, actually. Why? Because I just, you know, I don't really know <laughs> exactly the order that I'm supposed to go in. I mean, it's, it all makes it better eventually. It's all gonna mix together. Y'all see what I gotta deal with on a daily basis? No, you're laughing so hard. <gasps> uh, Alright. Sugar. One cup of sugar go in.
That's a lot of sugar in there with those eggs. This cake's gonna be real sweet. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a moment to toss, to, to mix this in. We're gonna, we're gonna go with our flippy waffle head here, which I believe is the scientific term. Not too terribly quick. We just wanna mix that sugar in with those eggs and give it a little, a little plopping, a little plopping texture here. Alright, then we're gonna come up there. You can see the slop. Now we're gonna toss our sticks of what are they? I don't know. I'm not gonna tell you what. I'm putting in here. I'm gonna put one stick in there. I'm gonna let her mix around. I don't think we're in danger of over mixing until the flour gets involved. If you ask me. What do you think, Lizzie? It's my birthday, I can dirty if I want to. Was it yesterday on the stream I sang a jazz song about pizza and chicken wings? It wasn't well received. But... Oh yeah, we got some more slopper in there. We slopping now. Now one of my favorite things about this particular bake because I'm a master baker, that's what I'm gonna call it. Hey, you heard it, so did I. Uh, is I love to eat the batter. I do love that a great deal. Just what I'm playing on. Now we're gonna do half of this block of solid juvie juice, but don't worry, the other half will come back into play later when we grease that little stinky pot down. You know what's fun about making videos with my wife is the constant and vitriolic dissent that she offers. You're just wasteful. Ooh, baby, we slopping now. Ooh, baby, can you see that slop? Head, okay. Get ahead. To get ahead, you gotta change the head. Now also some of you may think, oh, he probably can't wait to get to that batter that is at the end of this process. You'd be wrong. Right now, this stuff right now, delicious. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely to die for. Now that is looking creamy, you guys. Now that right there, nice and creamy, creamy and dreamy. Okay, now we've got our nice smooth slop here. We've got some smooth, smooth slop. We've already got that's in there, and that's in there, and that's in there. And then we've got our eggies. Now it's time for flour. Oh yeah, it's time for flour. Look at how it mix, look at how it mix. Beauty must, beauty must. You may think, ah, oh, it's unbecoming of you, sir, to be baking on the internet. Shut up, what is this, 1950? I bake what I want. Oh, hot dog. So good. And if you're a baker watching this video, you may say, oh boy, you're overbeating him. You're overbeating him. I don't really know what I'm doing. But to honor my grandmama, we will bake a cake. And on my birthday, because anytime Lizzie and I went to visit her, for some reason, she would always find her way back to telling the story of how I was born. And that story always started with, it was a dark and stormy night, she would say. And then she, yeah, then she would tell the story of how I was born. If any of you guys copy this recipe and begin to sell it and make money off of it, I will come to your house and in your life. That's a true threat. I'm kidding, YouTube. I'm kidding. Of course I won't do that. All right, I'm gonna wash these hands and then uh, I'm gonna pour that batter into that other pan. Please let me know if you like this kind of thing. I don't care, I mean, it doesn't really matter if you like it, I'm not gonna start doing this regularly, <laughs> but uh, I don't know, I just thought it would be a fun thing to film if I was gonna do it, so. Anyway, we've got this bad boy here. Let's see if we can't knock some of that batter off. It's definitely very thick. I know that I've done something 
that she wouldn't have done, but I don't know what it is. I may have overbeaten it. Ooh, it smells like butter. Can you smell it? So another story about this cake is at this point, once the batter was finished, my favorite part was the batter and she knew that. I always like to, you know, eat a couple spoonfuls, you know, clean the spoon off, do what I've done so far. And, you know, good grandmas are good in this way, that they notice that kind of thing. And then even when I became like, you know, a 12, 13 year old, I wasn't going over there all the time. Um, my siblings had come into my life, so we got to stay over at our house. That show. My grandmother wasn't required to keep me anymore because there was now a new parent that could be at the house while the kids were there. Um, even still, whenever she would bake a pound cake, she would get in her little Buick and she would drive over to our house and she would deliver to Bryce and myself a little Tupperware uh, container with just like two or three spoonfuls of batter in it for us to have when she made a cake. And um, that's still very special to me. The fact that she did that, how silly. But she knew that we liked that, so. I'm in debt to her. Many of you may not may already know that among the people that I am in debt to for being able to do this internet thing that I do, even though it hasn't popped off crazy, um, uh, it's her. And so, you know, anytime I have a pound cake, anytime I make a batter, I think about her and I think that's nice. So we got our pound cake batter in here. It's looking good in the pan. And uh, we're about to throw it in the oven, so that'll be the next clip, but it's got to preheat, so we're almost there. Uh, anyway, I'm bad at my job. I lied to you. I forgot to tell you. Give you a clip of it going in the oven, but there it is in all its glory. I'll let you know how it turns out. We just took her out to the oven, baby. Can you hear it sizzle? I bet you can smell it. I bet you can smell that cake. Mmm, they're looking good. I think we did a good job. It remains to be seen though. We gotta let it cool, and then we gotta flip it out. Then we'll know. Then we'll know. You saw me grease the pan up. You saw me do it. But there's the top of my cake. It's not on my cake. Every time. Happens every time. I'm a loser. Thanks for watching.